let's take a look at uh, what has happened. Because, Ian, there was a session last week mm -hmm. um, with Juan and Rod. Now, uh, maybe we should go sequentially. But going backwards, unfortunately, um, you may remember that Jane, we had played mostly in very personal scenes with her in kind of ordinary situations. And then Rod goes and gets, you know, then the acid kicks in and Rod takes Jane off into some dimension somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, that's very much the way it went last time. Jane tried to have ordinary life and got roped into all sorts of weird shit because Stan Duncan over there um, continues to be plagued by messy chaos magic effects um, to the point that the Acceleration Bureau is very upset with him and is giving him tickets. Um, and that uh, the most dramatic manifestation of this was that he may have a child that he didn't know about who currently is manifesting in terrifying ways. So his whole idyllic London accountant boring life is suddenly threatened at its very core. That, that the child that he and his wife thought they didn't have may actually have come into existence in some way. Um, so for Stan, this is all very personal. Um, and he has finally decided to bring the fulcrum, his super role, into trying to deal with this. Aided by Galaxy Jane, whom he has inadvertently dragged into the situation. He and Jane hung out a bit. Uh, in order to preserve a coherent future for them, when the Acceleration Bureau tried to make the future boring, um, the fulcrum, in balancing the fulcrum of chaos against the Acceleration Bureau, became so stable and transformed to change his whole super identity into the Keystone instead. So, Jane turns around, goes off to the mystic dimension in which the keystone resides, like as an object, symbolic object, mm -hmm. and steals it. So, uh, Jane is now the proud possessor of the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, now the proud possessor of the ontog ontological concept of happiness, uh -huh. and the eschatological keystone. So, Jane is racking up quite a little cabinet of abstract possessions. Um, but, on the other hand, she and the newly christened Keystone are pretty much in agreement that they need to uh, cope with these chaos effects proactively, because the Acceleration Bureau is just being a pain in the ass about it. Um, now, if I recall, we left Blue Streak having dealt with being interrogated by, I believe Rod called him, what was it? Shimmer Step? Was that right? Something like that? Do you remember? I can't remember. Okay. Uh, but it's on Rod's sheet. It's right? a vague bell, yeah. yeah. But uh, do you recall from that session, uh, which was a while ago, um, mm -hmm. at all what occurred uh, with where we left you? Cause I, you? I seem to remember in order to escape... Uh, I rode or was catapulted to the slipstream, and yes. I've now ended up in a kind of slightly alternate version of my existence where I, Sonia Jackson, the girlfriend who I'm sure about in my reality, I married to, hit her, to her, and she is pregnant. And those right. are the changes I've seen so far. Mm -hmm. um, I seem to recall that that did happen. Um, I'm trying to remember what else did, but we can probably leave it at that. So, um, there's something with a girl who worked at a cappuccino. Well, that's not actually what it is. You're married to someone else, that someone else is pregnant, and Sonia Jackson is right. working at the bistro. That's Instead. right, yes. Right. So, you've got women, complicated women things going on. Um, so we have two male characters, each plagued by complicated chaos effects on women, and 
a female character who is herself a complicated chaos effect of some kind. Uh, whatever that may say about us as creators and men, I don't know. <laughs> Juan will be the interesting player, and Ian is the featured player. Um, right. And to, <laughs> to, to do what we do, uh, Juan has a question for him. Mm-hmm. So, what are you doing right now, Ian? I am fighting my way through the shield, my arch nemesis's goons, in order to get to the shield himself. You want it? Now, I'm going to eliminate a little backstory. In, in my universe, the shield is a kind of gangland boss, and he's my opposite. If I am, if I use. Um, the stream effectively for speed he uses it to freeze things right right um but in this universe he's actually only a little bit of a lowland gang life he's not he's not quite as important as he is in my universe well yes except the number is the same so yes. uh so well, this, okay this, this is important because i'm trying to get to him because i want to uh, I, I i think there's something happening with the with the stream and i want to ally my enemy in the other universe in this universe right so that's what i'm trying to do well let's let's role play this a little bit because you're yeah, you're, you're writing a, you're writing it. ahead of your situation we just want to look yeah. at you for the moment we can't as i say we we can read the captions but let's take a look at it yeah. first um i'm going to uh round things out which is my job as the narrator in terms of mm -hmm. visuals um and i am going to say that the artist is hideously lazy and it is midnight at the docks okay and so because because and so, hey, they did it in Dick Tracy, you know, in the 1920s. There's no reason we can't do it now. Hey, and Batman so, did it, does it for a while, too. Right. And so the, the, um, the shield, uh, who is um, a, a very gangsterish-looking person in a very traditional fashion, uh, who does, in fact, have a domino mask, and this would be ridiculous except for the raw energy powers that manifest among, among you know on him as you're used to seeing. Mm -hmm. So you're used to seeing the backdrop of crackling black Kirby's you know back there and you're used to uh you're used to to the the stoppage of all realities, you know, when the shield, you know, puts up his hand and stops things. That's a lot of stop. I uh, was thinking, right. you can always tell where he was because all the dust settles at once, once he leaves. Yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, in fact, go. I would even say, you know, there you can't even, like, change things around in the room for a while. Exactly. You know? And so, um, so this, so what's happened is that uh, somebody who you recognize as the shield, but who looks to you uh, different. Um, yeah, in some okay. basic way, um, you know, we're not even see your thought balloon. You know, he's he's not quite the same in this reality. Mm -hmm. And um, but so you're so beating the shit out of the goons. That's great. That's that's not even probably something we need. It's not a contest. What you should do is name the ability that you really want to do especially in terms of describing what your character is literally doing. Okay. So, I... I mean, if you want to use the shield as the ability, that's cool, Well, I'm too. thinking that might be the appropriate thing to do. I mean, obviously, there's the whole, you know, me battling stuff, but what I'm really trying to do is call out to him and say, you know, I want to... I want, I want to speak to him about what what's happening. Maybe... You know, maybe uh, maybe I'm trying to say, but do you recognize me? Am I who you remember? Um, because this is not the real future. In my future, you're a bigger man, mm -hmm. a bigger man than this. Mm -hmm. It's a better future. Got it. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Um, so, uh, so yeah, actually, I'm going to have him swagger down. You could swear that this is getting almost surrealistically 1920s Hollywood. The way he swaggers down the steps as the goons are crawling on you and you're elbowing the goons at super speed and stuff. And uh, and he's saying, Streak, is that you? It's me. 
and you know like cocks, his, cocks his head and says bigger than this better than this sure point points at you snaps his fingers and says you're on So I'm just coloring up your use of the ability. I'm not resolving yeah. anything. I'm just happily, you know, playing what you said. So the question is, uh, that's what you're up to. Now, Juan, this is a good chance for you to think over the option of the interesting player. If, if what's going on that he's talking about seems like something that we might want to watch run through, you know, we might want to watch proceed, nothing means you have to jump in and mess with it yet. Okay. Right. The interesting player gets to be interesting, which means not rushed unless they feel urgent. No, I, I think I should listen to a little bit more before yeah. I throw a wrench in the works. Yeah. And so, therefore, we end up with the, um, we end up with, with the, he, he says, you know, he says, all right, boys. And he kind of like grins a little and says, stop. Oh, please, Stop. In being a very sarcastic, you know, campy way, and the uh, and you don't remember the, the the shield being quite this, uh, you know, what's the word I want? Hollywoody camp, right? He's he's a little more threatening, as as you recall, but um, this, you know, he says this, and of course, all the goons just sort of stiffen, and some of them fall over without changing position, um, and uh, and he comes up and says looks you up and down and says, well, I wouldn't believe it. Except you're moving way, way too fast. Are you saying you don't want to just bowl me over as I am? You could win, Streak. Take me in. Clean up the city. You could do it all. The big man here, the hero. You really want me? You say you, you say I'm you say I'm more than I am there, or will be, should be. It's tempting. It's tempting because in my in my reality, we are even, and my speed of use of the stream, and your status use of the stream mean neither of us can top each other. We we, we whenever we whenever we meet. The forces are in balance, and neither of us can win. But you're stronger there, stronger and better. So I guess maybe I could take you here. I guess maybe the weight of the of the, of, of, of the stream control is on my side. Your that stream ability has been racking up in previous play. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. And I say, but here's the thing: that's not going to help. I need to work with you because something is tampering with the stream and we're both going to go down if that happens. And we need to figure out who these guys are, what they want. So we have to work together. Afterwards, when we put things back to the way they should be and we're one-on-one -on -one again, I invite you to try and see your powers then. He, right. So, so I'm seeing that last panel. You're extending your hand, right? Mm -hmm. Very heroically. You turn the page, and suddenly, um, I think. How do I describe this? Okay. Uh, you turn the page, and there's a distortion behind the shield, and a silhouette pops up. He's backlit right now because it's dramatic. The silhouette appears behind him. It's familiar. And uh, I am going to attack your present and gone. Because somehow you're going to pop up behind the shield and super speed stab him in the heart from behind. While you look from from where you're standing right now with your extended hand. So oh, so another what, version what of the blue silhouette. streak. Ah, okay. So you're going to use. Uh, so you're attacking with what? Present uh, and gone. Present and gone. Oh, very nasty. And so. Uh, Sorry. And and so what will you? Uh, and you're attacking with present and gone. And what are you going to be attacking? The shield. 
Yes. Right. So, meaning the ability, you're going to reduce the ability of the shield. Exactly. Got it. Ian, what will you defend with? Well, I'm here and there. <laughs> Fantastic. Gentlemen, start your engines. All right. Um, so, be four versus seven, effectively, Ron, yeah? Say that again, please, Ian? It's, it'll be four versus seven with the Masteries. You, yes, you, you both that? have Masteries, so just strip the Masteries and just roll as if your abilities were four and seven. I've got a two. The best possible roll. I've got a nine. Wow. Okay, so we've got a success and a failure, correct? Yep. Both of you begin play with three hero points. Um, I reviewed the rules. I've been not playing them quite right. Masteries, which neither of you have, can bump up and bump down, right? You can bump mm -hmm. yours up and bump others down. Hero points can only bump yourself up. You can't bump right. the other person down. So, therefore, uh, Ian, uh, mm -hmm. as the current loser in this situation, if I'm not mistaken, correct? You got the victor. You're you're facing a minor mm -hmm. defeat right now. Mm -hmm. um, Ian, you have the chance to get a hero. Uh, a, if you spend a hero point, you will be looking at a marginal victory instead because you roll higher. Yeah. I'm going to spend that hero point. Excellent. Juan, I don't know where you want to take this. As the interesting player, it's up to you to play soft or hard in terms of intensity. So that's up to you. And you have your own oh. uses for hero points, I'm sure. So. Okay, I'm um, thinking mechanically. It's... I just I just uh, made the story more interesting. There's no real right. point in actually killing the shield. So. There you go. There you so go. I won't You're add set. anything else. Yeah, perfect. So, uh, Ian, if you want to make it a minor victory, you could. But, no, I think okay, he, marginal I'm victory. Shocked right. by what Excellent. happened. Perfect. To... So, what's going to happen is that present, uh, present and gone is going to be reduced by three points. Mm-hmm. Nothing else will change, because a marginal victory doesn't get you any points on your abilities. Um, and so nothing else changes. And then, um, uh, I get to... Funnily enough, that makes present and gone and here and there exactly the same number. Which oh, is... that's cool too. Right. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, therefore, we see uh, the, the visuals on this are amazing, because present and gone, of course, is... The shield, the, the the blue streak, I believe, as we know him here in this reality, who would yeah. be taking any chance he could to take down. Uh, you're, you're realizing this reality is kind of like more pulpy than yours because you know taking him out with a dagger is you're like ooh, so um, so he's present. <laughs> you are here then you are there he's gone mm -hmm. because you're standing precisely where he was you actually step into where he existed in this reality right okay yes I've, I've, I've taken his existence right and catapulted him somewhere else that's, well, perhaps you don't know how this shit works, yeah. you know, and so um, and so you have prevented the shield from taking any damage at all. Uh, did, and, did the shield, the shield presumably though, did, did, he, did he see the well, second Well, I am narrating, and I am yeah. thinking about this. Um, <laughs> I think that the shield uh, uh, says... We better do this now, or else I'm going to end up owing you too much to kick your ass. So, yeah. he he holds up one hand in a characteristic gesture that you're well aware of. Mm -hmm. And he says, one, two, because his whole thing is stop, right? Mm -hmm. So, he's, obviously he means, on three, go. So you guys okay. are going to juxtapose your stop and go at its maximum yeah. opposition, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's a difficulty. What ability will you use? You could use um, the shield, which was what you were intending to do anyway, which is cool. Yeah, I think I'll use the shield. Excellent. Against the difficulty, which, by the way, is now 19. The rule on difficulty in Cosmic Zap, 
Start mm-hmm. at 14, plus one every session. Very right. easy. Yeah. So this being our one, two, three, four. Ah, it's 18. Damn it, not 19. Okay, you're diff- I'm rolling with an 18. Let's go. Okay, I'm running 14. So. I get an 18, actually. And I get a, um, <laughs> I get a 14. So that means again, I've got a success, and you've got a def- and you've got a failure, right? Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. going to actually spend it here, but I, I want to keep things off in a certain direction. So I'm going right. to that's, that's what they're for. That's what they're for. Yeah. By the way, when Juan attacked, that was super on super, right? President Gone versus yeah, the was shield. indeed yeah. Yeah. So that's not no hero points were gained or lost. So okay. therefore, uh, you have got a marginal victory again, I believe. Indeed. Yeah. Excellent. The two of you. It's a marginal victory. So the two of you end up um, in the proper lives and just for fun, much to your girlfriend's surprise, Sonia Jackson's surprise in Mm -hmm. her place, a super-powered gangster thug is sitting in your chair. (laughs) <laughs> and much to your surprise and the surprise of the beauteous lieutenants of the S.H.I.E.L.D., who, of course, have nothing better to do than lounge around his offices, are both quite surprised to see you sitting behind his desk. So, yeah. unless we want to play with it, I'm just going to say hilarity ensues as the two of you get to where you belong <laughs> as quickly yeah. as possible. Right. So, That's quite cool, yeah. Um, so yeah, you you did it, but you didn't do it like with a whole lot of dignity or extra cool effects or special benefits or anything because it was marginal. So yeah, and, and who knows what Sonya thinks of the um, uh, <laughs> the shield? Who well, yeah, that's well that can lead us to that can lead us to interesting things later if you want yeah. if you want. So so here's here's my question. Yeah, um, one. That dramatic moment that everything was hinging upon where. The shield was recognizing that things weren't where they were, blah, 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 everything else. That I that I tried to complicate just dissipated in my eyes. It's it it, it, it went from being a dramatic end of page to to a throwaway thing that happened. Not so well, only if you let it drop flat. And there's two ways that it won't drop flat. Ian is so intrigued by this that he wants to continue to play or another player likes the shield enough to put an ability on their sheet to reflect that and therefore the shield becomes a more nuanced character that way, obviously, and can be played from more directions as play goes on because you can use abilities on your sheet when you're featured. Um... And so, or that ability could be attacked. Now it's going to be a lot harder to get rid of the shield if he, like, it's like the Acceleration Bureau, right? Who now has, who I believe is now represented across all the sheets, I think. And, um, I'm not having the Acceleration Bureau, but um, I okay. think I, I mean, I've met the Acceleration Bureau, but I haven't got the ability to for him yet. Okay, that's all right. But let's say you did. You don't have to. Let's mm-hmm. say you did. It's very, very hard to get rid of the Acceleration Bureau then because they exist across all the sheets. Even if you destroy yeah. one of those abilities, they're still around. <coughs> so, um, so therefore, I'm going to say that it, it depends on what you mean by the moment. I mean, he got what he wanted by getting here. What you did was also set up the potential for, for example, you could take the ability, Juan, or Ian could, although he's only got one hero point left, you could take the ability the other blue streak. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I think I think the thing is there's lots of potential avenues from there. There is right. we've introduced this idea of the, the, the potentially that there are more that the timelines are out of sync. They're different different routes. If I replaced him, where did he go? There's right. Did well, the well, that I want to try and yeah, so but the, the fun thing is yeah. not, it's not closed off. Is what I'm saying right. So, but the way that you don't close it off is you use it, you keep using yeah. it, you bring it in, and you work with it yeah. so that it it develops. Right, but if I want to follow it up, when someone says to me, what are you doing, I can say, 
I am confronting the other blue streak, if for example. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, Juan, it's up to you. Do you want to put the other blue streak or something about the shield on your sheet as abilities in the super category? Um, I can do that with the points I started out with without having earned any additionals, right? Right. Yes. Well, you only need one for to make a new ability. Yes, well, why yeah. not? I yeah. will add the other blue streak. Exactly. And so that way you say, hey, just like you were just saying, hey, wait a minute. I went to all that trouble to problematize Blue Streak's existence. The motherfucker goes and makes his roll, and I'm totally dissed. They ignored my cool thing. Well, hey, I'll show you what happens if you ignore my cool thing. <laughs> you know? Yeah, the other Blue Streak at a beautiful 13. Yeah. So, um, Ian, it's up to you whether to follow up a little bit. Maybe you want to deal with the shield in terms of something very concrete. Just set something up with them. Um, or or not. Or focus on coming home to Sonia and talking with her. Or something like that. Um, or whatever. The thing is, that, that kind of ending feels like the ending of a... Uh, this issue to me. Okay, uh, then you're good. Because, of, because you're there's good. a comic up which will happen off scene, and then there'll be another issue. So I'd like to probably flip her over at this point. Perfect. But yeah, fine. so that, that, that's why it's your choice.